couldn't open it. Uh, how do I turn this on? Is there a button here that I should press? I can't open it. God, this is gonna be the most funny video about somebody who couldn't use the adapter. So today we are going to unbox the, uh, the Nikon Z9. So just want to give you guys an idea. So I have the uh, uh, Sony uh, A1 right here. You guys can see the box. So that is, um, of course, there's uh, nothing in the box, so that's why it's so light. But that is the size. And then the uh, the Canon R5 is uh, like about this size, the box. And this is the 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 Nikon Z9, which is uh, a lot bigger. So just comparing the boxes. Uh, without further ado, let's uh, do the unboxing, okay? So uh, I'm just gonna fold away these uh, boxes here. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, so this is the um, Nikon Z9. I think it is about uh, $5,500. Uh, it kind of stands between the uh, the price of the Sony A1, which is about $6,500. And then the Canon R5 is uh, 38. But anyway, so the Z9 has uh, 46 megapixel and it can uh, do uh, I think 20 frames per second for the raw and then 30 frames per second for, I don't know if it's compressed raw or, or JPEG. Uh, anyways, so I just got this uh, from uh, Pause Photos yesterday and um, all right, okay, right here. Um, <laughs> okay, so you see the manuals and stuff, which uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm shameless to say that I never read those. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so let's see what's in here. Okay. Okay, so this is the camera right here. Um, uh, quite heavy to be uh, honest because uh, I've been using the uh, Sony A1 and the Canon R5 for most of the time. So let's let's take a look. So what you do is you, um, oh thanks. So somebody uh, just mentioned about uh, the R3 is uh, 5,999, so about 6,000. So, so, oh my God. So R3 is actually more expensive than the Z9. All right, so here you go. <laughs> All right, so this is it. So let me see if uh, you can see a better angle right here. So um, nice. Here, this is the, um, the the Z9, and I have my uh, uh, DA50 right here. So if you just kind of uh, go side by side, is um, the width is very similar. The the two camera. I'll show you another view later. Uh, I'll just uh, unbox first. So uh, just from the look here is uh, is is very nice and uh, very comfortable to hold to handhold. Uh, I I have uh, uh, kind of long fingers and stuff, so this is welcome to to hold it. And is there any batteries inside? Let's take a look. Uh, it's not not there yet, so <laughs> so I think I'm gonna put it there. So let me just take a look. So from here, you can see that there's the dial here, which is uh, very easy to reach from here. And then the, the shutter button, the dial, and oh God, there's no dial in here. Um, that is uh, very strange. Let me, uh, I'll explain in a bit. Uh, but apparently this is, uh, this is not a dial. This is just some buttons right here. So uh, the reason I said that is because the Canon and the Sony, uh, they have three dials. So the, this dial and this, this one right here, I don't know if you can see this one, this dial. And there's also a big dial in here, but that is missing here. Am I missing something? Or maybe the, the control is, uh, it's different, must be hidden, I hope. Anyway, so there's, uh, the good thing is there's two joysticks, as you can see here, one is here, one is here. So this joystick is for when you shoot vertical, and you can still control it, and, uh, and, and do, the, uh, do the vertical shoot, uh, which is um, something that Canon and Sony couldn't do unless you buy the battery grip. Uh, but this one is just um, integrated together into the, the body right here. The LCD screen, you can uh, flip it up uh, like this. Oh, but it's, it can do the, um, uh, the whole, uh, what, what do you call this? Uh, you can pull it out. So for example, um, I have the, 
uh, uh, let me just reach out here. Okay, so this is the uh, the Canon R5. Uh, what you can do is uh, the LCDs can pull it like this, and then you can do uh, like this. I, I prefer this one better because uh, uh, sometimes um, uh, some in some of the shooting conditions, uh, it gives you more flexibility when you have to shoot at an angle. Yeah, so that is the, the camera. So let's see what is in on this side. That is, uh, I think it's the charger. Ah, okay, so that's the charger. And what else? Strap. Uh, okay, this is so the charger. All right. Uh, so where's the batteries? Where's the batteries. Okay, this is the batteries. Okay. So I love. <laughs> I love this kind of, uh, of batteries. Um, if you, you guys don't understand what I mean, for example, um, this is the, um, the batteries of uh, Sony. And then Canon uh, also have uh, batteries like this size. And if you guys have been shooting a lot of the uh, professional uh, cameras, uh, you know that um, uh, they usually come with this kind of batteries, which basically last Forever. Let me see what else is there. There's, uh, uh, there's the cable, the USB-C cable, uh, probably for you to connect to um, uh, to the computers. Or I, th I think these days uh, you can charge your batteries directly from plugging into a cable when the battery is inside the camera body. I haven't tried it yet. So by the way, um, you guys, if you have any questions about uh, these mirrorless cameras, uh, Please write down on the on the comments, and I, I I'll answer you. Uh, anyway, so isn't, isn't it fun? So uh, I mean, when I started the um, the uh, award-winning wildlife photography Facebook group, uh, that was really the original plan, uh, which is to educate, which is to share some of my failures, some of my success in photography techniques and tools and stuff every day. So that people can learn, but somehow uh, it became kind of like another Nampa group or some of the photo sharing group, uh, which I plan to make some changes to the group so that for some of you who want to learn more about photography, I will share um, uh, some of the you know uh, how how do you approach animals, uh, how do you uh, what are the settings, uh, what are the techniques uh, to get sharpness and little noise and uh, less noise and some other stuff. So if you guys are happy with that plan, uh, also type in the comments and let me know. Anyways, so let me put on the uh, batteries, okay? I hope that uh, they have, uh, uh, so, so basically what you do is, um, see that that's the thing about the camera. So right now what I'm shooting with is a uh, Sony A1, so uh, it tracks on my eyes and <laughs> couldn't focus on the camera unless I block my, cam my eyes. Okay, so now it, it focuses on that. So basically you just put this, whole thing in and uh, is it how it is okay okay and then you just close it and let me turn it on okay so I just put it on and then uh, turn it on I see something okay so that is good so this is the um, the, the Canon R5 this is the um, the, the Z9 um, and this is the uh, the Sony A1. So of course the angle is a little bit off, so I should just put it right here. Um, you can see that uh, in terms of the size, uh, is a lot smaller for, uh, uh, of course it's not a fair comparison because I haven't put the battery grip on. Um, however, I think uh, weight is a very important factor in photography. I mean, the, uh, you can you should, you should save as much weight as possible uh, when you shoot. So, um, so I, I don't really see it, a need for the battery grip if you can uh, avoid it. With that said, um, let me try to put something else on, which is this guy right here. So this is uh, the adapter. So for some of you who are new to mirrorless, um, you in order to use all the old lenses, uh, all the digital SLR compatible lens on a mirrorless, you need to put on an adapter. So this right now the camera is off, right? And when I opened it, you can see that um, this is the freaking sensor. You can see the sensor right here, right? Which is um, something that 
I don't like because if you, for example, this is the uh, the Canon R5, right? And when I have the camera to off, and when I open the lens right here, you see that? Did you see? Do you guys uh, can you see this? So you see, this is a, a window kind of um, protecting the um, the sensor, uh, which I think is a really really good. Uh, um, idea for mirrorless, but uh, Nikon doesn't seem to have that. I think the Sony have that. Let me just take a look. I forgot. <laughs> Too many cameras. What can you say, right? Uh, Tin Man is a shopaholic. Okay, so Sony as well. So Sony also have that uh, uh, that uh, plastic window thing. So when you turn off the camera, it will automatically put on this thing to protect the um, the the, uh, the image sensor. So that is. Uh, I think it's a really good thing. Okay, so let's get back to the to this thing. Let's, so this is the adapter to connect to the old lenses. So this is the uh, the is it the adapter that is so big? Uh, yeah, this is uh, bigger than the the the, the Canon one or the. Uh, so anyway, so let, let's put this on, put this on. Uh, how do I turn this on? <laughs> don't, don't. Hold on one second, guys. This is embarrassing. I can't, I can't turn it on. Is there a button here that I should press to... Uh, I can't even open it. I can't open it. <laughs> I think I need to freaking read the manual then. This is so much tough to read. That is the strangest thing. So, so on this side, it is so easy. So you know, you just uh, do this. So anyway, so let me let me let me just repeat this. So I do clockwise, and then I remove this one. Right? Okay. So this is good. So if I go to this one, it should go clockwise, right? I couldn't open it. God, this is gonna be the most uh, funny video about somebody who couldn't use the adapter. No, it's not moving at, at all. So, uh, is that? Ah, okay. Thank you, guys. Okay, so you really have to to <laughs> to be. Uh, you can see the like the sweat coming out. Uh, I don't know what happened, but uh, maybe it's just the first time that uh, the um, the thing is sealed. Um, so let me put this on. Okay, so this is a mess right now. So let me just remove this one first. So aligning this. Okay, so this is on. All right, so this is game on. So this is the, um, the very famous Nikon 500PF. Find it. Put it on. Boom. Okay. <sighs> okay. I never knew that doing an unboxing would cause me so much sweat. Like I just walked twenty thousand steps. But anyways, uh, so this is it. Uh, okay. It's not light. It's quite heavy. How do I say it? Anyways. Uh, so this is one of the, the main concern. Uh, well, fortunately, the, the Nikon is coming out with the 402.8. Uh, that should be light enough, but right now this thing is so heavy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna uh, do some testing in the next few days and compare uh, with uh, my Nikon and Canon and see how it goes, okay? Um, if you don't like to try it, just rent it out for a weekend or one day and just give it a try. And I, I, I promise it will blow your mind. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll talk to you guys later.